It's official, you don't have to write listings anymore. You can now do it with artificial intelligence with the new features we just implemented in Flying. How awesome and easy it is, I show you in one moment, especially with the other functionalities of Flying. Now is the configuration process and don't worry, it's very, very simple. You go to your flyingresearch.net account, then you log in of course, and then you can switch here on top to flying upload. Most of you will already know that. And then you can here click on the top right on settings and here you have general settings. And when you now scroll a little bit down, you can see here this completely new section AI listing generator where you enter your open AI key and then you can decide what should be created with artificial intelligence. You can see it here before you can start here. You need of course your key and here is also a yeah, little instruction where you can simply click here on the first link and then this here opens and if you don't have already an OpenAI account, then now you can create it here and then we can continue with the next step. When you've created your account or you logged in, you can choose between ChatGPT that is well known and also the API of OpenAI. We here need the second one, API. You can click on it and then you will go to your user dashboard and you can also have a look here in flying. Here, the second point of the instructions, you can click here again and then you go to an instruction website of OpenAI. Where do I find my API key? And you can use here the first link in the user settings and then you go straight to the site that you need and here you can create a new secret key and important it's secret so don't share it with anybody and you can now also do this step then also save your open AI key and store it in a safe place and when you have done this we continue with the next step. You have created now your OpenAI API key and I give you a brief overview. Here in the left side of the menu, you can go to usage and here you will always see how much credits you used from your API key. When you generate one, it is automatically in the free OpenAI version here and you have, I think, up to $18 you can generate for free with this key. The thing I have to mention here is with the free key, you have only GPT 3.5, this version in flying and also here when you generate anything through the API. The thing is, there is also a 4.0 version from OpenAI and this one is a lot better and we would also recommend to work with this one. We will also do the example with GPT 4. It is also to mention that this is the current status quo. So for sure, Open API or Open AI will release in the upcoming weeks and months other versions, a GPT 4.5 version or a GPT 5 version. Then, of course, the free version could also be as smart as it has to be to, to generate good listings. But right now, status quo is 3.5 is free, but it is not so good as 4 and we recommend the 4 version. And when you want to have this version, you go here to settings, you go here to billing, then you can add here payment details, load up some credits and when you yeah, have here a payment method, then automatically your key will also allow here the 4.0 version. You can see also this in a moment in flying upload. And speaking of that, you can go here to flying upload. Then here, the key I can't show you right now, you can enter it. And then here, flying will also check for you. And when you get this open AI key validated, this is the correct message you should get. And then you can already decide here what you want to generate. So you can generate parts of a listing. You can generate the whole listing just that you get a feeling for it. We will create a Merch by Amazon listing and it is enough for us to just generate the English version. Then you can save this of course and this here. When you just do this here, when you work with the GPT-4 version right now, then it will need about two, three pennies for one listing. 
It is also possible, of course, to generate just one listing through AI and then copy the data to the other designs. But I also show you this in a moment with the options you have in Flying. And now it is time to generate some AI listings. Of course, the open AI key configuration just has to be done once. And then it is all about here generating and creating listings. And you can see here in the edit, we have yeah, a Valentine's Day design. So we want to also do a generation for Valentine's Day. And these here are three placeholder designs. Just for an example, how to transfer data afterwards. And you have now two methods. You can do it just by entering keywords or what is even smarter, you go here to AI templates and then simply you create here the template once and then you can use it again and again. So create the template. The name should be for Valentine's Day can of course add your notes if you want and then the part you have to do here is open oh yeah, open <laughs> um, enter here your keywords too much open AI and open keys um, how to find keywords very easy very simple two methods it's a little bit based on your tier if you are a lower tier go to flyingresearch.net you have here a free tag generator section everybody can use enter here Valentine's Day and then you have here related tags and then you can use them and enter it for more professionals who are a higher tier or selling more in general you have here of course with the keyword search the keyword tab of flying research uh, yeah, a pro model so you can search here also for valentine's day and then you can see here you have 12, 256 very good keywords very good results with search volume with trend with total products etc we go now for the search volume so and i filter here also for the google search volume and then i can see here of course i want to have valentine's day then also here this apostrophe is different keywords also very important so we take this here and then you can say here okay this is the most search volume then gift ideas have very high search volume gifts for her yeah outfit is also good and then maybe also do we have the ideas already yeah the decor you can select and then here Valentine's Day for him, etc. So you can do it here like you want. Then you can simply copy it, go back to your open AI, and then you have here your main keywords. And you see also here, these are the keywords with the highest search volume, the one we wanna have. And then I fill this up simply here with some basic tags we have for the tag generator. So we have a little bit of a mix. Couples, hot, yeah, Valentine's Day, we can add again romance, couple, boyfriend relationship girlfriend romantic dating maybe also happy and when you have here a good mix you can also copy it here to the fill keywords so main keywords will mainly be used in brand and title fill keywords in bullet points and also description make sure to have a good mix and also make sure that you have enough text the more text you have the easier it is for the artificial intelligence to create a good design so here we have around about yeah, 20 21 text um, this should be more than enough for the ai and this is basically what you have to do to create a very good listing for print on demand of course you can have here also a blacklist for words you never want to use and also here you can add custom rules so for example the first keyword here on top must always be the first um, word in the brand or here also other examples brand has 20 characters min uh, title has 50 characters min etc you can do this like you want but in general i can tell you you don't have to add custom rules and a very good listing will come out we also have here an example with main keywords with fill keywords and how it should look afterwards then when you have done this here main thing is to configure your keywords then simply click save then you have here your valentine's day um, ai template and then you can go now into creation and this is now the part where your POD business will change. Before you had to thought about the keywords, how to prepare the listing and everything. Now you just created your AI template with the keywords, with the most volume you wanna use. And now you just have to click on generate. Tagging options, 
and then you have here AI listings by templates. I show you keywords just that you have seen it. You select the design and then you can enter here your main keywords and your fill keywords. Basically the thing we did a moment ago with the templates and that's also why we can switch here to AI template or you can also do it here over the menu like you want. Then select the design or the designs and then we have here the Valentine's Day template we created a moment ago and here if you have a pay key you have now GPT-4 or you could also uh, use GPT-3.5 Turbo and when you have a free key you just have the 3.5 version and then select here the version and then click on generate. Now we send the data to the AI and then a listing will come out. This could take a moment. I'm also sure OpenAI will improve that in the future so listings are even faster and here it also does not matter if you generate one design listing or you generate 10 or 100 designs listing. The time you have to wait here is usually always the same. So then you can lean back and then you see after a few seconds your listing is already created and now you can scroll down and then we can see here your English Valentine's Day listing, the AI created a moment ago. And then we can check here. Okay, I think good keywords for the brand, good keywords for the title. Then you can also check out bullet points one and bullet points two. And then also here the description. Of course, you can change this here. So for example, um, if you want to have here this Valentine's Day rocks, then you can simply Valentine's Day rocks. You can, for example, set this quote here in front and then you can adjust here the listing like you want. I just wanted to show you that it is now done. So you don't have to think about bullet points. You don't think, have to think about description. It's just generated and of course afterwards you can change it if you want to and you also see we added just the keywords in the template and then a listing like this goes out and I don't know of course um, exactly but this is probably better than 80 or 90 percent of the listings that already exist on Amazon Merch. And then here another strength and functionality of flying is of course when you have it have now more Valentine's Day designs not just this uh, one design then you can simply click for example here options apply MBA to and then transfer this listing data to the other three designs as well. This means you don't have to pay for every listing of course you can if you want to have also different um, listings etc but usually you just have to generate one design and then you can transfer it to all other designs that are the same niche and then maybe edit the brand a little bit, the title a little bit, completely open to you, how you want to have your workflow. And of course, also very important and what you also can do here in the flying edit, for example, here tagging options, then trademark bulk check, simply select all the designs and then all designs will be checked for trademarks in this case. Of course, these are four designs um, and four times the same listing so basically it just has to check one listing but if you have different designs um, with uh, different listings of course you can see here all the trademarks and also the offices are already selected for you so i hope you're now a little bit impressed and i hope you can see the power um, this this can do for you and how it can help to prepare your listings now for me i have to say especially when i have to prepare german designs because i work with a virtual assistant that has of course just Engl Eng english knowledge and not german um, it is a lot easier for me for example to create also the german listings because i simply add a few tags and then i can click generate and this is very very powerful and i can also promise you from this point onwards AI is just going more powerful also here. It goes faster, it goes more precise, etc. So I hope you're impressed. And then now up, let's go to the last take. And this is it for today's video, how you can create now AI listings with Flying. This feature is premium and available in the Flying Upload Pro version. So we can make sure 
access time is as short as possible and also the availability is always given. If you have now any questions, then simply write it down in the comments and not just AI listing creation, we also introduced AI research. And when you're interested, you can click here on top to see this video. And then I see you in the next video. Till then.